Yo, it is Gucci, my boys and girls. Welcome back to another Mord Killer video. Today's video, I'm going to be pretty much explaining to you without any editing. Oh, make sure you all smash the like button. Like that smash button, as they say. Kick back, enjoy, grab some popcorn, listen to my yapping, flapping, McGrillin, McFlippin, chillin. Oh, anyway, the best thing, tip, tip and cheek, blah blah blah, that I am for you lot is that bloody grind out the two repeat for hours and grab yourself some shockwaves because they are unlimited just flying around the map try and practice shooting people out the sky go for the twos, hit fire, sort of shotgun all that beauty and then always try and always shockwave to the next person never slow down you always got a W key because the more people you kill man the more better you're gonna get Huge shout out to Jack times two as well, everybody, for giving me the idea of making this video. He's a little absolute demon at the game, so huge shout out to him for this idea. And yeah, pretty much just play the pit for hours, constantly push people, constantly put yourself in fights, and this is where you're gonna gonna get that aimbot from chat. It's currently my first game on, I haven't warmed up at all. Uh, yeah. See how much of a, of a kill streak we can go on and then maybe by watching me you can, you can copy my, my play style and see how I do things. So like right now I'm gonna just constantly shock leave. He's gonna try and hit this ward cut again. But I'm gonna stop him. I'm gonna shock leave up there, no one's up there. Reload my SMG, third party. Beaming up the sky. And yeah, this map is really good for just constantly having action. Quick respawn as well. As soon as you, as soon as you die, you can get straight back into the action. I wouldn't recommend playing any zone war maps because it's only one life and you have to play really, really slow and it's not really going to help you in the long run to actually improve how you fight. The only thing it does is you get good at hiding and camping in a bunker. So yeah, don't play any of those zone war maps. Another, the other map that so you don't want to play is don't play any warm up maps like that. Don't play any aim trainers or anything because they're not going to necessarily help you. When you go and kill like clones that are standing still or like moving objects and AIs and all that, they're not going to help you with the aim because Pubs and comp, it's a completely different game and everything that you gotta learn. Whereas in the pit, your best things will play. Some are more sweaty than others, of course. But that's the fun of it. Some people use auto shotguns, but hey, that's just a part of the game. Can't really do anything about it. Why well, now I'm using the Stinger SMG, but I'm gonna actually swap it out to the gold pistol. I'm using a controller on PC. So that does limit my aim assist a little bit. But if you have a console, I'd 100% recommend you can use it there. Combat SMG. Just learning how to fight with that. Just the combat SMG is easily the best gun in the game. Also, here's my sensitivity for you lot. If you just want to give it a go. 34, 34, horizontal, vertical. 15, 17 for my boost my ADS is 12 11 and my dead zones is 13 5 sometimes when I play pubs I have it on 45 just so that I can like shoot and escape quicker off spawn this and that but in the pit I just have it on 35 so I just get those move pumps when I shot those up from someone and all that And the, the best tips that I have like when you're playing pubs is when you land, always try and land before anyone else. And don't even, don't bother about 50-50s. If you 50-50 someone and they play on PC, you're gonna lose that fight because they're gonna have scroll wheel, they're gonna get the gun before you. And also, you gotta like learn when to push. If you think that you could third party to someone, 
look at me and see, look at the sign, and just you always gotta always gotta think of like where someone could be. Let's say I'm at fencing fields at the moment, and there's two medallions pushing me. It's gonna be a bit of a sketch a ton because you don't wanna be, you don't wanna be like sandwiched or anything like that. Order shotguns, they take no skill to use. But I 100% just go in the pit out. That's it. That's pretty much it, man. Let's play the pit zero builds. Constantly push people. I'll start concentrating now, by the way. Like I'll, I'll go to the mate for you lot. See how much of a kill streak we can get going on. And then just kick back and join Hiking in my place so Hope you all get better as well Now. Right, the, another tip is, um, let's say someone's behind this wall, you always gotta wait for them to jump first, that's the easiest way, because if they, they're gonna jump eventually, they will, they will jump, always wait till that person jumps before you do. So that you have the HP that Did he kill him? That's why I think. <laughs> but I'm, um, yeah, I hope, like, just, it's not really too informative of a video. There is basically one thing, like, one tip that I have for you, Lon, and that's just to play the zero build pit. If you just want to get better at zero builds, just go push people, go have fun, jump into a pub game, play smart, always that be key. And, um, yeah, smash that like button, like the smash button, and I'll see you a lot in the next video, eh? Catches.